Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with the Stock Market Update on Tuesday, May 28th. Hope you had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. And uh, thank, remember to thank a veteran. Um, the stock market uh, was hanging around its all-time highs last week and then had a pretty bad day on Thursday when uh, some, uh, not really terrible news came out, but basically the Fed said they're still waiting to uh, make a decision on lowering rates that spooked a few people that sold the market off at that point, but now it seemed to bounce back again on Friday, and it's still not very far from those highs. So those recent highs at 53.25, which is closing, or 53.40, which is intraday, that's temporary resistance. On the downside, we should have support around 52.60, which was the old highs and basically was also the low of last week. Uh, we start to move outside of that range. Things could uh, clarify themselves a little more. On the upside, of course, that would be bullish. But on the downside, if we drop down to 52.28, that would give us a McMillan volatility band sell signal. Uh, we haven't had one of those recently. We just completed a buy signal uh, successfully. So that's a potential uh, on the downside. Meanwhile, the equity-only put-call ratios remain bullish. They are continuing to drop, so that's, that's positive for stocks. Uh, the breadth oscillators did generate a sell signal uh, on Thursday when the market sold off. And so that is really our only negative indicator that's been confirmed so far. Um, if breadth were to improve, it did improve on Friday, but not enough to cancel out those sell signals. And if breadth were to improve uh, from here, it could uh, eventually cancel out the sell signals, but for right now, they're still in place. The uh, new highs on the New York Stock Exchange numbered over 100 again on Friday, so they're running on a long positive streak right now, and that, uh, that indicator is bullish. The uh, VIX dropped all the way back down to 12 at Friday's close, um, and basically, as long as VIX stays low, it's not a problem for stocks. The thing to keep your eye on is the 200-day moving average of VIX, which is right now at 14.75 and declining um, slowly. So if VIX were to jump above that, then uh, some things might happen in a more bearish fashion. But right now, the trend of VIX is lower. That's positive for stocks, and as long as VIX stays low, uh, the stock market should be able to benefit from that. The construct of volatility derivatives, meaning the VIX futures and the CBOE volatility indices, they continue to portray a bullish uh, outlook for stocks as well. So overall, we're still, uh, still maintaining a core bullish position. There's really very little uh, negative uh, confirmed activity, at least right now, uh, just those breath oscillator cell signals. Uh, countered by a number of buy signals. But w if the market were to decline, especially to 52.28 and then lower, uh, we could start to see a lot more uh, sell signals accumulate. But for right now, uh, it's sort of a day-to-day -day thing. I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our daily letters. And uh, meanwhile, have a great week trading.